It is an absolutely beautiful day in Taipei and I've decided I'm going to drive out to Inga. It's going to take me about 35 minutes to drive there from Shindian on the number 3 freeway. And Inga is, well I call Inga the pottery area. Um, it's a town that has a lot of pottery, uh, in this kind of industry. And there are two streets adjacent to each other, little cobblestone streets. And they call these two streets the old streets. And on these, there are little coffee shops and restaurants and lots and lots of shops that you can buy crockery and pottery at. I'm gonna go over there and record a little bit and show you what it looks like. So this is one of the cobblestone streets I was talking about and all along this you'll find shops like these that sell pottery. This got my attention, nice big cups, um, I'm a coffee drinker so this would work really well for me and it's only AT&T for a huge cup like this. Not all of the shops are fancy, some of the shops are just set up like almost like street vendors on the side of the street but they have so much stuff with very very good pricing. I quite like this shop. This is one of the smallest shops in Inga, but boy is it packed with stuff. You can find a lot of stuff in this little shop, even though it's really tiny. Inga also sells uh, different kind of ceramics, not only crockery. And uh, this is a shop that sells little fountain things and decorations for the house. I quite like this shop as well, it's a bit tacky and they sell all kinds of uh, decor and little ornaments and things, but it's kind of a fun shop, also packed with stuff. This is my favorite shop. When I used to have a restaurant, I bought most of my crockery from this shop. They're very competitive in their pricing and they have so much stuff. I'll just walk you through. You'll see um, on the side here they have uh, the oil burners, the, the incense burners, some vases. Then they have a couple of teapots and little teacups, traditional teacups. And then they have plates, big plates, small plates, square plates, round plates, long plates, any kind of plate you can imagine you're probably going to find here. On this side they have some more bowls and sets in different colors. And they have a couple of uh, silly tacky little things as well. Little sets of teacups over there. And some artsy things also. A little bit of art and vases and house decorations, ornaments and things like that also. I really like the shop. I will attach the business card of the shop. Inga also hosts a variety of different kind of art houses and museums. Um, you're not allowed to record inside, so I really quickly took this clip before the lady threw me out. Restaurants, this is kind of an interesting restaurant. It's a restaurant and an art gallery. They also have this one, kind of a fusion Italian restaurant. I didn't walk around a lot today, so I didn't find a lot of restaurants. But I'm sure if you spend more time here, you'll find all kinds of little coffee shops. The sun is almost setting, so we're going to head back before we hit traffic. If you come on a weekday, you can park on the cobbled street. If you come on the weekend, you have to park down the hill um, at the parking lot. Inga offers pottery classes as well, so I suggest make a day trip of it. Just come and hang out here for the day, do a pottery class and just really enjoy it. It's so rich with culture and art. It's a really nice place to hang out.